Brother Nicholas Still, our Minister of Health and Social Security, so that he can speak to you. Thank you, Mr. Master of Ceremonies and our very beloved General Secretary. Let me first off acknowledge our political leader and Prime Minister, Dr. the Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, and our near and dear friend from Jamaica, Prime Minister Andrew Oldes. Let me also acknowledge the executive of your new national party who was unanimously re-elected today. Let me pay them their respects and congratulate them and other members up here. And most importantly, NNPIs! No, no, I want you to say it loud enough that they hear it in St. George Northeast. The whole place green. And do you know why it is green? It is green because four years ago we came to you. We came to you and we thank you for giving us the mandate and we said we would work for the green, the red and the yellow. And you recognize that and you know because we have worked for the green, the red and the yellow, the green has grown stronger. I am here specifically, I have plenty to say, but I'm going to talk about health specifically first. Do you remember where we were before? Princess Alice, right here, now has an x-ray system. A state-of-the-art x-ray system for the people of St. Andrew and the neighboring parishes to use. It is a system that when you take an x-ray there, anybody in the world can see it. Any doctor, that is compliments of this leadership, this government. You have more doctors, you have a registrar in Princess Alice. Gove Health Centre, you all going to notice a crisscrossing all over. Gove, Gove Health Centre will start in two months. $5 million has been allocated. We are committed. You know why? You know it's going to start and I can say it's going to start because this is the government and party that delivers nurses. We are the only government, with your permission, Prime Minister Holness, we are the only government in the region that can say there is 100% employment for every Grenadian who is qualified as a nurse. Every Grenadian qualified as a nurse is working in our nursing or medical industry. Compliments of the leadership and the party that delivers. We are currently working with the unions and the nurses to regularize, to write those nurses who have served in acting positions, to make sure that they are regularized in their position now for two reasons. One, because they deserve it and we know we can, and two, to make space for those who need that opportunity for promotion. Doctors, more doctors on the government payroll than ever before. And not only that, doctors now are able to further their studies, compliments of this government in Cuba and other places in post-doctoral studies. There's a new doctor's quarters at the General Hospital. Your district medical offices, you are seeing that they are being repaired. You are seeing that the staffing is increasing. Electronic medical records is coming. It is coming in hand with National Health Insurance. Electronic medical records means one patient, one record. You could go anywhere on the island and speak to any doctor and your record will follow you and get the treatment that you choose when you choose it. And that is the beginning of what is most important and the principle of national health insurance, which is that it matters not who you are, what level of income you have, or where you have come from. As long as you are a Grenadian, you have a right 
to timely medical services. And that is what your national health insurance will give you. And brothers and sisters, this is not talk. This is from the party that delivers. It is that important to us, and we recognize that it is that important to you, that we have put one of the most caring individuals in charge of that process. Your parliamentary representative, our near and dear sister, Sister Emlyn Pear. And you know she will deliver. Brothers and sisters, the hospital, General Hospital, the phase two, the steel structure that was there for years, the steel structure that the previous administration refused to finish, said it couldn't be done, suffered the people to try and embarrass us, is physically complete and will be open in the next three months. We are now talking about equipping it. They said it couldn't be done. They refused to do it. They made you suffer to prove a point. We came in, Sister Modest started it. I have been given the honor to finish it. She and I and the rest of this team will make sure that it is yours, it will deliver, it will be the best you have ever had from your NNP team. Once we have done that, we will be able to deal with the overcrowding we have in Mount Gay. We will deal with all of the other facilities offering to you to meet your expectations of what you expect to get with respect to healthcare in Grenada. Within the next couple of weeks, we will be hiring more orderlies. We will be hiring more cooks and we will be hiring more cleaners in the hospital. And I'm saying this out there, many of you are looking for those kind of jobs. Come and apply. There is room for any and everybody who is willing to help in nation building. St. George's University. St. George's University that they're talking about that they were going to be building a teaching hospital. They couldn't pay the bills in the hospital, but they wanted to build a new one. And they believe that you have short memories that you will listen to them. No, brothers and sisters. I can say now that the relationship between this government and St. George's University is stronger than it has ever been before. Proof is in the pudding. Point one, St. George's University has in its second year, second year we've been here for four, second year of a new nursing program. Nurses, Grenadians who want to qualify as nurses can now go to St. George's University with or without scholarships and get a bachelor's degree in nursing. That same institution that produces 10% of the doctors in the US are now working with us to produce the best quality nurses. Why will they be the best quality nurses? Because SG was working with us and they are Grenadians. But key to that is our ability to assist with our Imanis. And I can say proudly, one of my proudest moments recently was to be at the last class that started in nursing, to see some of our young Imanis who had been cast aside by the NDC, who had been sent home, who we dug down deep and made sure that we would give them the support and start back the program have moved on from the program and are at SGU studying to be nurses. And they talk about teaching hospital. You need to be teaching in the hospital to contemplate a teaching hospital. And that is what we are doing right now. Our doctors and our nurses of tomorrow are being taught at our hospital now to be the best doctors and nurses of tomorrow. Let me also say that it is because of this government's foresight and this government's ability to work with any and all governments that have something to contribute to Grenada that countless Grenadians have gone to Cuba for medical treatment as well as on scholarships in the medical field and elsewhere. That with the Venezuelan government that they refuse to talk to, we are talking to them because they are willing to help Grenadians. The thousands of Grenadians, thousands of Grenadians have received free 
eye surgery. Compliments of the government of people of Venezuelan government. This was offered for many years, but again, they suffered the people. Prevented you from receiving what is your due and what is your right. And on top of doing all of that, the most important part of it, all bills are paid on time with this government. All bills are paid on time. The National Insurance Scheme now receives money from the government's salaries and no longer has its money raided to pay government salaries. That is the difference. This government pays its NIS contributions and doesn't force the NIS to contribute to pay government salaries. So, as a result of that, our NIS, your patronage, your future is growing, is being safeguarded, and will take on the national health insurance. There is more to come, more to come. But most importantly, and I think many of you are here to acknowledge the fact that there is also an election to come. And in that election, we proudly ask you to judge us. And I think we all agree it's not a question of whether we win in or not. This election is ours. But what you need to recognize is that there is a message to be sent. You united in 2013 to send a message. And the message back then was that there was a government you didn't want and there was a government that you did. Now you need to send the message. You have the government you want. You gave them 15 in 2013 and you've given them 15 again. The support we have in this nation, in the region and in the world recognizes that we will win the next election. They are looking to you to show them how big we will win the next election. So it is not simply about you going out to vote. It is about you bringing others to vote. It is about you showing them that Grenada is united. Why is Grenada united? Because it is under the leadership of the NNP. Why is it under the leadership of the NNP? Because Dr. Keith Mitchell leads the NNP. Why did you pick him? Because he was the only one to take us out of that evil. And he is the only one that will take us into the future. You have work to do. Mobilize. Do not count the victory for granted. Make sure that the victory is not just a victory, but the best victory ever. It is your task as NNPIs to make sure that this win is not just a win, but the biggest win yet. I see Brother Bowler there, but let me just take another short while and say, I want to recognize the people of the town of St. George to say that I have proudly served them as their parliamentary representative and I will serve them again in a heartbeat. I served Grenada first, the NNP second, myself and everybody else third. And as such, I am willing to serve Grenada and the NNP anywhere Grenada and the NNP ask me to serve. The progress will continue. And to my brothers and sisters in the town of St. George, I am proud of being part of a party that now gives you, as we will say, two red men. And you will have your choice. We will give you the best and we will make sure that the best is given to all constituencies so that it is a 15-0 again and we go forward stronger than we started this journey. Thank you. Let's give it up, give it up, make some noise for Brother Steele. I wonder who is that next red man? You say two red men. <laughs> You know something? 
There is somebody here among us that we need to recognize.